today we are making one of the most popular recipes from my new cookbook, What's Gabby Cooking? We're making the chicken larbos with coconut rice, which are so epic, you won't even believe it. One of my girlfriends, Minka, and I go out for Thai food all the time, and we always order the larb. And whenever you make it at home, you need like a billion ingredients, but not this one. It's gonna be so easy. So first things first, we're gonna start with a quick pickle mixture. We just are using Persian cucumbers and a red onion. And you make this like 20 minutes, 30 minutes before you're actually having dinner. So we're just gonna slice some cukes and we're just gonna slice them into coins. All right, and these are just gonna go right into a glass bowl. Super simple. You could use two Persian cucumbers, three. You could use a regular cucumber. If you use like a big hothouse English cucumber, I'd peel it because the skin's a little bit tougher. And then we're just gonna cut off half of the red onion. We'll save that for later. Trim the ends. And then this is gonna get a really fine slice. Perfect. And then just pick this up and then break everything apart into the cucumber mixture. And the way we're going to pickle this, so normally when you're making pickles, it takes weeks, right? But this is just a quick pickle. So we're just gonna take some rice wine vinegar, about two to three tablespoons, drizzle it on top, give it a little zhuzh. And this is just gonna sit off to the side while we make the chicken larb mixture. So normally when you go have this at a restaurant, it's just chicken or pork or tofu, but I like to put my little California spin on it and so I added some kale. So this is just dinosaur kale and we're gonna take this demi part out by pulling just like that. I don't really know the proper way of saying that, but you get the idea. You saw how I did it. Okay, so all of this, you could either save this and make veggie stock or compost, whatever. And then this is all just already rinsed, so we're gonna take it, bunch it up, and then just give it a rough slice. We want small pieces so they wilt down pretty quickly once we cook it. Also, if you haven't already seen it on Insta Live, this is my new beautiful veggie knife, and it is the best thing I've ever owned in my entire life. Okay, let's turn the stove on. We're just gonna turn it over high heat and then put in a little bit of olive oil, vegetable oil, coconut oil, whatever you have on hand. And then the kale is just gonna go right in here. Okay, so we want the kale to totally wilt down, so it'll probably cook for about five more minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and prep some of the other ingredients that'll go in the lard. So we have some scallions, green onions, whatever you wanna call them. And I just like to peel this outer layer off because it sometimes is a little like, it's a little ugly, let's just be realistic. And so we're just gonna peel that off so it looks really pretty. So just trim the ends, take off this little part and then give this a fine slice. And we're gonna slice it all the way up, probably to the ends of the greens where I trimmed it. People are always scared to use the green parts of the scallions, but they're really flavorful, plus they add a little pop of color. We'll just push those over to one side. And then this kale looks great. It's starting to get a little bit of color on it, which means we'll add the chicken. All right, so we're using ground chicken. You can use white meat, dark meat, you can use ground turkey. You could use ground beef, ground pork. Really, larb is just very versatile. So we're gonna take the chicken and just plop it right on in. And then take the back of your wooden spoon and break it apart. And we're gonna cook this all the way down. The kale's gonna continue to cook. And we want the chicken to be fully cooked before we add everything else. All right, so the kale's gonna continue to cook down, the chicken's gonna cook through, and I'm just going to chop up a couple cloves of garlic. And you all know I'm obsessed with garlic. So the recipe calls for two cloves. You could use three, you could use four. It depends on who you're cooking for. I'm going with three, because I feel like it's the right thing to do. Just smash the garlic down. We'll peel off the paper skins and give it a rough chop. All right, that looks perfect. Nothing too precise. Let's give this a stir. All right, so the chicken is totally cooked through. We're going to just pick up our garlic and throw it right in. And then the same for all these green onions. 
And that is just gonna give this so much flavor, so don't skimp on the green onion. We'll give that a quick stir, and then we're gonna add all the stuff to make it a little bit more saucy. Okay. So here comes some of the most flavorful ingredients. We're gonna add a little bit of soy sauce to this, which is not only gonna give it a little bit of salty and like depth of flavor, but it's also gonna give it a nice color. And then we're gonna put some sambal in this. If you don't have sambal, this is what it looks like. You could use red pepper flakes, you could use some sriracha. It's basically just ground up chili paste and I am, like look at this, I buy a giant bottle, I go through it so fast, I'm obsessed. We're gonna put in a big spoonful. We'll give this a stir. And then I know this might seem a little weird, but we're just gonna add a tiny bit of brown sugar to kind of mellow everything out. We'll give that all a stir, and then it'll be time to put it together. Okay, so the lard mixture, I took it off from the heat. We have our quick pickle mixture, which is going to be the icing on the cake. And then we just made some rice, which was jasmine rice. You could use any kind of rice. We used coconut milk, a little bit of water, and I'm gonna grate some lime zest in when we toss it all together. Everything. Bring this up over here. If you guys don't have a rice cooker, by the way, it's kind of my favorite invention. You just throw everything in, press go, and then your rice is perfect an hour later. All right, so just take a little zester. We're gonna put a little lime zest in there and the coconut and the lime is going to make this literally the best rice you've ever had. And then just fluff it up. Perfect. Okay, so let's grab a spoon and we're gonna start, you just want like a low shallow bowl. We're gonna put a couple spoonfuls of the coconut rice right at the bottom. Let's see how beautiful I can food style this compared to the one in my book. It never looks as pretty unless Adam's here. All right, so coconut rice down. Then we're gonna put a couple spoonfuls of the chicken lard mixture right on top. And trust me, this kale is going to change your lard game, I promise. Just gonna make it a little bit lighter and like a little bit healthier. And then on top of that, we're gonna put some of our quick pickles. We'll just give this a quick toss. All right, and we'll just pick some of this up. Throw it right on top. Already not gonna be as pretty as when Adam styles it. Whatever, don't judge me, guys. Adam's my food stylist, for those of you who don't know, and he makes my world a very pretty place. So once you zest a lime, you still have all this lime juice in here. I'm just gonna cut a little bit out, just like that, and squeeze it over the top for an extra pizzazz of flavor, and then we're gonna finish this off with herbs. So you can use whatever kind of herbs you like, basil, mint, cilantro, we've got it all. Grab some little baby basil leaves, cilantro, and these are gonna make it even more fresh and delicious. And the mint, you, you can't skimp on the mint. Promise me you'll try it with mint. Mint is everything, it doesn't get enough love. That right on top, and call it a day. Okay, I'm super close. <laughs> it's a little prettier here, but it's gonna be just as delicious as what I made here. The full recipe is on whatscobbycooking.com or in my cookbook. You guys are going to love this. It's gonna be part of your weekly menu rotation. Promise, picky eaters, anyone, they're all gonna be happy. See you later.